Well, it's an experience, a nightmare, shared by many natives across the country. They were children living in Indian residential schools run by governments and churches. Along with harsh physical discipline, many students endured sexual abuse. One Okanagan man says that even though the last school was closed in the early 1970s, the emotional scars remain in the native community. An advisory that some of, this, uh, some of the language in this report from Brent Stafford may not be suitable for all our viewers. Their childhood memories are horrific. It just torments you to hell. Haunting memories of physical, emotional and sexual abuse most suffered at the hands of the priests and nuns who ran the native residential school system. The residential schools were set up in the 1800s in an attempt to assimilate natives into white society. The idea was to remove native children from their communities and eradicate their culture and language. The beating that we took for speaking our language we used to get severely beaten. Well, at times you couldn't close your hand, it'd be so swollen. But the loss of language and culture through brutal acts of violence was only the beginning. The priest had come into our, our rooms and at times uh, <clears throat> they would ask favors for, uh, they give you, want to give you better stuff than the rest of the students for favors, for sexual favors of groping, assaulting you, trying to shove <clears throat> their finger up your, your, your anus and groping your penis and uh, falling you down there. And these were the people that ran the school? Yes. They white, were, white people? Yes, they were the priests and the nuns. McCallum is not the only native who suffered such horrors. Hundreds of BC natives are victims of the residential school system. And there is a tremendous amount of anger out there that has that is just below the surface. At a First Nations summit meeting in Vancouver last week, Native leaders met with a nine-member RCMP task force set up to investigate and charge the operators of the residential schools. You know, those were criminal acts back in the 50s, 60s, 20s, 30s, 40s, and they still are today, and those people need to be held accountable. The RCMP already have 90 suspects, and in a few cases they have enough evidence to lay charges, but they admit it may be difficult to bring some of the accused to justice. They're going to be in their more senior years, some are going to be deceased, some may be infirm or in that category where Crown Council chooses not to, in the public's interest, to go ahead, and then thirdly the police will have to try to locate an individual we may only have a partial name of. So as the RCMP investigate, natives like McCallum, who lived through the nightmare, try to strike a balance between the desire to see their abusers brought to justice and the ability to put their past behind them. And let's clear, clear the air so that the healing can begin. And is it going to help, do you think? Yes, it will. Yes. In Kelowna, Brent Stafford, CHBC News. The RCMP say they will not lay any charges until they have completed their entire investigation. They estimate it will take almost two years before they're finished looking into all the complaints.